Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing the next in my series of three in ones and this will be Year of the Rabbit. So we have the little um, Chinese New Year rabbit. We'll have just a little regular rabbit with the floppy ears. And then I decided to do this guy. Um, he's from that movie, The Holy Grail. I don't know what he's called, the beastie of some canter or something or other. Your guys will probably know where he belongs. Um, there's going to be a few um, places where you're going to be skipping because these are so different. So if you choose to do these ears, you're going to be skipping these ears. And these two ears are the same and the mouths are the same. So you'll skip that mouth or you'll skip that mouth. Every single part you see right here is in the video except for this guy's little red claws. And that just, I just went over two stitches down at the bottom, up through the center. Um, I'll be referring to the red as the main color, the red, purple, and white, and the yellow, white, and red on these guys as the accent color. Choose whatever colors you like. I'd love to see some of your um, creations once you're done. If you want to go down in the description and go to my Facebook page and you can just um, post it. There's a link on my page for YouTube videos. Um, I think that's everything and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the body in the main color. You're going to just make a loop or do your magic circle or your chains. However, you usually make your, your rounds. And in this first loop, we're going to do six single crochets. So pull the yarn through, chain up one, and then you'll do your six single crochets. So that's one, two, Then you're just going to keep going starting in that first chain one single crochet and you're going to put two single crochets all the way around in each stitch for a total of 12. That's tail in my way. One and two three and four Five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve, and that is the end of row two. And I'm just going to grab a little chunk of yarn as a stitch marker just in case I get off track talking and forget what I've done. <laughs> so for round three we're going to do one single crochet and then a single crochet increase into the second stitch. So one and then two and then we're going to do that all the way around for 18. So one Two and three, four, five and six, seven, eight and nine, ten, eleven. And 12, 13, 14, and 15, 
16, 17, and 18. Now for round four, we're going to do the same thing, only we're going to do two single crochets and then our increase. So one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, 11 and 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and our last increase for 23 and 24. Let's flip your stitch marker. And so for round three, we're going to do three single crochets, and then an increase all the way around. So one, two, three, four, and five into that same stitch, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. This should be our last set. 26. 27, 28, and then 29, and 30. Okay, next we're going to go for 36. So we're going to do four single crochets and then one increase. One, two, three, four, and then five and six for the increase in that same stitch. Seven, eight, nine, 10, and then 11 and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18 in the next stitch, 19, 20, 21, 
22, 23 and 24 in the next stitch. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty in the next stitch. This should be our last round. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. 34 and 35 and 6, 36 in the last stitch. So that was row 6. Now we'll do row 7. I'm going to do this row a little bit differently as far as counting just because math and doing this and all, all at the same time remembering what I'm doing. I'm just going to do um, five single crochets and then an increase for seven all the way around instead of counting all the way to 42. And you know if you've done it right if you end with a um, an increase in the last stitch. So it's off the top of my head it's probably six increases. But let's get along and get going here. So one, two, Three, four, five, and then six and seven. So here's where I'm going different. One, two, three, four, five. And then six and seven in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, Five, and then six and seven in that next stitch. And this should be our last set. One, two, three, four, five, and we're coming up to our last stitch here because there's our stitch marker will be right there. Six and seven. Okay, now from row 8 to 15, we're going to just do 42 stitches all the way around. And then when we get to number 15, when you finish number 15, I will come back and we'll get started on the next part. Okay, so you should have just finished your eight rows of 42 single crochets and ready to start row 16. And for um, row 16 on for a little bit, we're going to be decreasing. So to begin, we're going to do five single crochets and then one decrease for a total of 36. So one, two, three, four, five, and a 
decrease. And I don't know why, but my yarn has decided to squeak after all that. <laughs> okay. One. Two. Uh, three. Four. Five. And a decrease. I apologize for the squeaking. One, two, three, four, five, and decrease. One, Two, whoops, three, four, five, and a decrease. One, two, Three, four, five, and a decrease. One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. And that brings us right to our stitch marker. We're row 17. We're going to decrease 18 times all the way around. You want to try and get these on the tighter side. This is the first time I did that many decreases from 36 to 18. And you got to be really careful when you're stuffing it that you're not overstuffing it to see the spaces. So, whoops. Did I even decrease it? I think it did. One. So, sorry, I'm going to start that over again. Just to be sure. So, one decrease. Two decrease, three decreases, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And 18.
just kind of guide that a little bit into a circle. And now for row 18, you're going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay, now we're going to start increasing again. That's the hardest part of this whole thing is getting that um, to come in like that without leaving a whole bunch of spaces. For row 19, we're going to do two single crochets and then an increase for 24. So one, two, and an increase. Three, four. Five, six, and an increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, and an increase for eleven and twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. Then 15 and 16 in the next stitch. 17, 18, and then 19 and 20. 21, 22, and 23 and 24 in the last stitch of Round 19. So for round 20 and 22, you're going to just do 24 single crochets all the way around, and I will meet you back here to start row 23. For row 23, we're going to be doing three single crochets and then an increase for 30. Stitch markers almost running out here. So right there. So one, two, three, and an increase for four and five. Six, seven, eight, and increase, nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen and fifteen are an increase. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty are an increase. Twenty-two, 
21, 22, 23, and 24, and 25 is an increase. 26, 27, 28, and 29, and 30 in the last stitch. And now for row 24 to row 29, you're just going to put 30 single crochets all the way around and then I will meet you back up here to start row 30. So you guys should now be ready to start row number 30, which is going to be three single crochets and then a decrease for 24. So one, two, three, and then a decrease. Four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a decrease for sixteen. Am I at sixteen? Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and a decrease for twenty. 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. For row 31, we're going to do two single crochets and then a decrease for 18. So one, two, and a decrease. Three. Oops, that was three. One, two, three, so four. Row number five, then a decrease for six. Seven. Eight and nine is a decrease. Ten, eleven, and twelve is a decrease. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen is a decrease. Sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen decrease. Now we can do the rest two ways. Um, for row thirty two, it's going to be one single crochet and a decrease all the way around for twelve, and for row thirty three, it's going to be six decreases for six and then you'll close off but it depends how much space you need for stuffing your guy I like to put my eyes in when he's stuffed and then I got to take the stuffing out and then um, then I close them back up uh, that'll be later on but so I'm gonna leave mine open at 18 so that I can get the stuffing in and pull it out and get the safety eyes in and all that. 
So make sure, if you're going to stop where I'm at right now, make sure you leave quite a long tail because um, you're going to need, what, 18 more stitches in there? Okay, for this next piece, we're going to be doing this little, um, I don't know, cheeky muzzle with a little nose in the middle. So to get started, we're going to make a loop. And because these are going to be facing straight out, try and make a small loop so you don't have much of a hole there. If you um, make a magic ring, this is the place to do it. Okay, so insert your hook, pull up a loop, chain one, and then you're going to do six single crochets into that loop. It's a little tricky when it's tiny for me, but one, two, and I'm going to try something new today for this. I'm not going to go over my tail. I'm wondering if it's leaving kind of an uneven bump. Three, four, five, and six. And just like we've been doing, we're going to go into this stitch and go in the round. We're going to do um, six increases, so we'll have two stitches in each stitch around for a total of 12. So one, two, three, and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. Nine and ten. Eleven and twelve. And now we're going to do Three, three single crochets in each stitch and then an increase in the fourth stitch for a total of 15. So one, two, three, four and five. Six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen and fifteen in the last stitch. Now you're going to make two of these, so in your first one. You'll slip stitch and tie off, and I've already made my first one. And for your second one, don't cut your string. And you're going to come in here and join these two together. So pause the video, make your second one, and then meet me right back here. Okay, so now we're going to join these two together. Oh, and I want my string behind. So I'm just going to do one single crochet in any stitch around. I usually try and do it right where I tie it off, just in case for some reason I do something wrong and I'm back here instead of here. Okay, so there should be 30 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So we put our first one in there. So we'll put our 15th one in here. Then we jump to the other side. And we're going to start in this next stitch right there. Try and get this one stitch here on the tighter side. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a um no I'll just do it 30 and then slip stitch into this next stitch so don't worry if it looks a little funny mine looks like that too with these holes in here we're gonna put a little little nose up in here and we'll cover that right up so leave enough um, thread to sew that on and then we'll do the center part for the nose I'm going to choose pink and then we are just going to put eight single crochets in this loop oops I did that and then we'll, oh, I'm gonna have to, and then we'll uh, tie it off. So chain one, and then start your eight single crochets. Is that hard to see? I can't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then just slip stitch into your your first single crochet you did there. And leave a little bit of a string because you're going to sew that on. And then we will move on to the next part. Okay, so for this mouth, I didn't write down what I did, so I'm hoping I remember. I've made two of them and tried to perfect it how I liked it. So let's see how we do here. So for, um, if you want to make the tongue, we're going to start off in pink and we're going to do three rows of six single crochet and then start expanding with our um, increases. If you don't want to make the tongue, do your six um, single crochets in the loop and then start expanding but you'll be starting in red or maybe try black I'd like to try black but I made these with kind of kind of blood I guess in mind so I figured you better have a red mouth okay so make your loop for the tongue now we're gonna do six single crochets 
So chain one and do your six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. I move my light and my hands look like they're all red. <laughs> they're not, I promise. <laughs> they look like it. Okay, so now if you're doing the tongue, continue with just six single crochets. If you're um, skipping the tongue and you're doing it in red, or in whatever color you chose, start doing your um, 12 increases and we'll try and catch up to you. Or your six increases. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's two rows of six and we'll do one more row. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so now we'll change to red. Um, where's my red? I don't know. Okay. Forget that. As long as we can see, that's all that matters, I guess. We can see. Okay. Cut your pink off. We're done with that. Now we're going to do six increases, so we'll have 12 single crochets all the way around. Finish off that stitch. One. Two. Three. Oh. I'm not sorry. Whoopsie. I'm going around six again. I'm not going to start the video over for that. One, two. I'll try and catch up. Three, four, five, and six. Seven and eight. Nine and ten. Eleven and twelve. Okay, now we're going to do one single crochet and one increase all the way around for a total of eighteen. So, one, two, and three. Four, five, and six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen. Fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, seventeen and eighteen, nineteen, whoops, eighteen. See, I should have wrote this down. <laughs> 
<laughs> stop at 18. And now we're going to increase to 24. So we're going to do um, two single crochets and then an increase for 24. So one, two, and yes, I know. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two. 23 and 24. So now we're just going to do two rows of 24. Maybe I should grab a stitch marker of some kind because I'm really. Oh, I got a red one. <laughs> oh, that's a long one. Here we go. Yellow. Okay, one, two, I don't know why this is so dark. Three, four, that's really bugging me. I can't get them any closer. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Well, I did something right because 24 landed right on my stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24. And don't, whoops, don't go through that because we're going to change to white now. I have five rows. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Whoop. Okay, and grab the white or whatever color you're making him. 
I'm making my guy white, but you might be making him a different color. I just chose white because that's the color of the bunny in the movie that I was kind of going after when I decided to do kind of a scary bunny in this series. Even though the clip I watched is only about, I don't know, less than a minute long, I think. But, okay. So, I'll switch to your white. What did I do? There we go. And now, what are we going to make? Four rows? One, two, three. Yeah, four rows of, of 24 in the white. Oh, this video is going to be so long. I should be just... Fast forwarding two, three, four, five, six, no, not six, six. I will jump ahead here so you guys do three more rows of 24 and then I'll meet you back when I got my three rows done okay we should all have our four rows of 24 white single crochets or uh, did I say four rows okay so we're gonna slip stitch tie off we have quite a bit of um, extra for sewing it on later and watch this magic you're just going to take your fingers in here push it in and slide it inside and we have right sides right sides and a tongue if you did the tongue i just squished the tongue down i kind of want yeah. There. So now let's do some teeth. Did I throw my white away? I just had it. Okay. So for the teeth, I did so many teeth and then I decided, you know what? The easiest one I found that I could make was simply three chains and then two slip stitches back up. Let's take one of them out of there. You can go in the rounds and rounds and rounds if you want, but this, I, just, I even find doing five single crochet rounds tricky. Three I've done and I didn't prefer that. So now that I've blah blah blah. Just one, two, three, and then you're going to go in your second chain from hook. If you want them bigger, you can do single crochets, but I said, or you could do a single and a, um, or a slip stitch and a single. I decided to do a slip stitch and a slip stitch. Make sure at least the first one is a slip stitch because then you'll get that point. And then just tie off. There's your little tooth. And so all I did for putting them on is I came down into not this one where the white and the red meet, 
but the next row of stitches down, I tried to find where I thought the middle, middle was. So I feel like it's this stitch, and I'll go on one side of the stitch, and then one on the other side of the stitch. So the first side of the stitch. Oh, and there is a right and a wrong way if you want to. So this is the right way where you can see your little V's from your slip stitches. And then this is the wrong way. And I actually like the wrong way, so I'm putting the wrong way forward. I'm never going to be happy with these lights. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Okay, so pull that one through. I want the wrong side, so he's going to be going this way. So I put that in that stitch, so I'm going to go over to the next stitch. And just slide it through, making sure you don't go through all, all this. I haven't figured out how I'm sewing it on yet, but I, oops, and I went in the wrong stitch after, after telling you guys how to do it. Anyway, and you can put them all in at one time. Or you can start knotting them one by one, but I'm going to put them in first, just in case I feel like i got to move them away. That doesn't, see, that doesn't look like it's in the middle now. But then I went, uh, did I go in this one? I'm going to go one over, so there's a full stitch in between, and then I went over again. Oh yeah, I need some teeth. Okay. Wrong side. You can tell I've been putting these in a few times. <laughs> Moving them around. Anyway, um, okay, I'll let you guys make your teeth. Get some teeth in. Play around with how you want them. And get them tied. And then while you guys are doing that, I'm going to figure out how I'm attaching this. So that the center of the mouth doesn't come popping out if you pull on the tongue. Okay, so I will see you in a little bit. Okay, and now for the arms. So take whichever is your accent color and you'll make a loop or your magic ring and we're going to be putting six single crochets into the loop. So pull through, chain one and we're going to do six single crochets. One. two, three, whoopsie, four, five, and six. And then we're going to put six increases into each stitch all the way around for a total of 12. Okay. One and two. Three and four. Five and six. Seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve. 
And now we're going to do one more row of 12 single crochets all the way around. I don't know what that is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now we're going to decrease. We're going to do one single crochet and one decrease all the way around for a total of eight. So one and two is a decrease. And three and four is a decrease. and five and six is a decrease and seven and eight is a decrease now don't go pulling your yarn all the way through because we're going to do a color change so leave those three loops on your hook and get to the next color I'm going to be doing red as my main color on this one and you'll just tie that on there or however you like to do color changes and we'll snip off the yellow And now we're going to do five rows of eight single crochets. So one, whoops, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. So that's one row. And I said five, but it's actually six. Row five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's two rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's three rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That is one, two, three, four rows. So two more rows. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's five rows and onto our sixth row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I don't know why my lighting is really dark. Okay, so now we're gonna stuff that. Um, you wanna get it pretty firm down in the bottom of the hand. And then lightly stuff the arm. I think this is probably gonna to be too much. Make sure when you're stuffing that you're not stuffing it so tight that you can see white and you're pushing out your stitches because then you're overstuffing it and it's you're just not going to be as happy with it if you see your stuffing go through there. So get your hook back in. Make sure your top thread here is where it's supposed to be. And you're going to fold it with your one stitch on the one side and you're going to come into this stitch, this stitch, and this stitch. And you're going to do three single crochets. Make sure you get on through both sides. And nice and tight. One, two, and Three. And then you can tie that off. Leave enough of a tail so you can stitch that back on. And I will leave you here. You make two of these. And um, I'll come back and we'll start on the legs. So I decided the black was too hard to see. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to the horn. But let's do the, the beginning of the hoof here, or hand, in a different color. So this will be your accent color. And you're going to put six single crochets into your loop. So pull up and chain one. And then one. Two. Three. Whoopsie. They're not. Four. Five and six. And then you're going to do two single crochets and it's each stitch around for a total of 12. So one and two. Three and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. Nine and ten. 
11 and 12. Oh, I got a whole mess here. Something is happening. That helped. Okay, for the next row, you're going to do one single crochet and then one increase for a total of 18. One. Two and three. Four. Five and six. Seven. Eight and nine, ten, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen. 17 and 18. And now you're just going to go all the way around one single crochet in each stitch for a total of 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and 18. Now you're going to decrease. So we're going to do one single crochet and one decrease all the way around for a total of 12. So one and two is a decrease. Three. And four is a decrease. Five. And six is a decrease. Seven. And eight is a decrease. Nine. And ten is a decrease. 11 and 12 is a decrease, but don't pull your yarn back through. Leave your three stitches and then we'll change colors back to your main color. So I'm going to grab my black one again here. Get my stitches back on. And then change to my main color, which has been blue. Now we're going to do five rows. Oops, I got to cut that black. Five rows of 12 single crochet all the way around. Get that all organized here. <laughs> okay, so pull your main color through. And we'll do our first row of 12. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We'll do our second row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, eleven, and twelve. And we'll do our third row. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and our fourth row. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And just double check that was our fourth row. One, two, three, four. And now our fifth row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then you'll just tie that off, leaving a long tail for sewing. And I leave way more than we need, but. Let's see, and then you'll just firmly stuff this. If you're on your second one, make sure you're stuffing it similarly to your first one. going to end up with a skinny leg and a fat leg. I got a little too much in this one. Okay. So make two of those and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so for the bunny's ears, first you want to decide which ear you're going to make. If you're going to make the one that's um, two-toned with the accent color on the inside and the main color on the outside. Or if you're going to want to make the um, full ear. Um, and if you're doing the white bunny with the little red tip, that's the one we're going to do in this video after we do this one. So we'll start with this one 
and then we'll do the other one combining it with this one okay so for this one all you're gonna do make your loop and then you're gonna chain um, 16 I think yes chain 16 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen now in second chain from your hook you're going to do 14 single crochets all the way down till you get to this last second last stitch and then this last stitch we're going to put um, three single crochets in there so in your second chain one two three four, five, six, seven. Make sure that your chain doesn't twist as you're going along. You want to stay always on this top loop. Eight, nine, ten, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, and you should be in your second last stitch. And then you're going to put three single crochets in this end chain, twist as you go, so you're coming around to the other side of that first chain you made. Two. And three and then now you're gonna go down this side with 14 single crochets st starting right here so this is where you put your three and then you're gonna start right here in this next this next chain here one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then 14 in this last spot right here so now we're not going to keep going around now we're going to start going chaining up and we're just going to be going back and forth on this side here so chain one turn your work and now you're going to do 14 single crochets again along this side starting in this stitch right here your first stitch you can see that this one right here so one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, and 14. Now you're going to do three increases along the first three stitches you put in that curve. So you're going to have six stitches around this corner. So one and two in the first stitch. Three and four. Make sure you get around both those V's in your loop. So that's three and four. And then coming around here, that'll be five and six. And then you're just going to do 14 single crochets all the way back down to the bottom again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. It's going to go right in there. Make sure you get through both, both the loops and the V here. And fourteen. You're going to do that one more time. You're going to chain up, turn around, go in this first stitch, and do 14 single crochets back up to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. So now you're going to do one single crochet and one increase three times around this corner. So one, and then increase for two and three, and then one again, and then an increase for two and three. That's two times, and one more time, one, and two and three. And then you're going to do your 14 single crochets all the way back down this side. One, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Now you're going to need to make four of these. Two will be the inside or probably usually uh, with the accent color and two will be the outside. The inside ones you can slip stitch and tie off. When you do the outside ones, um, I gotta come back in a minute and do that with you because I gotta take this off so I don't have to make another one of these. <laughs> um, when you do do the backs, you'll leave your tail, you'll leave your, um, don't cut your tail because you're gonna use that to go around. I will be right back. Okay, so you should have at least one front and one back done. When I do it, I do the two fronts, and then when I get one back done, I join them. So we're going to join them now. 
You're going to put the wrong sides together. So this is the wrong sides. Just because that's where I left my tail. And then you're going to get in your loop there. And make sure you're in the first stitch of each side. And then you're just going to go 14 stitches up, um, single crochet, making sure you get through both, both sides of your ear. So one, two, three, four, five. Oops, I think I only threw one there. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Now to go around this corner. You're going to do two single crochets in the next two stitches, then an increase in the third stitch. And you're going to do that three times. So one, two, and then increase for three and four. And that's one time. You can do that again. One single crochet, two, and then an increase for three and four. And that'll be two times. And one more time. One single crochet. A second single crochet. And then an increase. So three and four. And then you're just going to do 14 single crochets along this side now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, and for 14, just make sure you're in both of the last stitches on both sides. Now, if you're going to leave it standing up um, like this guy, Leave your ear like this for now until we come to the attaching part. If you want to have it flopped over like this guy, you're going to want to close up this end. Hopefully I have enough yarn left over. Okay. Tuck that guy in. So we're just going to go across this with single crochets across this end. I'm going to put two in the first stitch just to cover some of that yellow. And then you're just going to put one single crochet in every um, separation of the rows here. So one, another row, two. That's your middle row. Another single crochet there. Another single crochet there, and then when you get to this end, you can put two in there if you want. And then you're going to fold it over, and you're just going to put single crochets across again so it stays folded over like that. 
And if you're unsure what you want to do, the easiest way for sewing it on is this way. And I think I think I have three or four single crochets in there. Because when you get to sewing it on, all you're going to have to do is loop around here if it's laying flat. If you're trying to stand it up, you're going to have to try and secure as you're going around. Okay, now we will start um, on this here. Okay, if you're doing the solid bunny ear, um, you're just going to start from here and go all the way down to so you have 20 rows. I'm going to do this ear, but it'll be exactly the same, except there'll be a color change. So when we do the color change, you'll just keep on going and we'll be changing colors and then putting these little marks in. Okay, so let's get started on that. So pick whatever color you're choosing for the bunny. If you're doing a different colored tip, I'll be doing red. And you're just going to do six single crochets into your loop. Sorry, I already had my loop made, but you guys know how to do this by now. Okay, so six single crochets. One. Two. I'm going to leave my tail. Three. Four. Five and six. And then you're going to do six increases for a total of 12. So starting in this next stitch. One and two. Three and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. Nine and ten. Eleven and twelve. So that's row two. For row three, you're going to do one single crochet and one increase for a total of 18. So one, two and three, four, five and six, seven, Eight and nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, and fifteen, oops, sixteen, seventeen. And 18. Now it's row three. So row four, you're gonna do um, just, I'm gonna get a stitch marker here. Um, just gonna do 20, 20. If you're doing the, the solid one right from right now, you're gonna just keep on doing 18 rows until you, or 18 single crochets until you have 20 rows. We're going to, if you're doing the tip, we're going to do one more row of 18 and then we're going to change to white. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, oops, 17, and 18. And if you're changing colors with me right now, don't pull through. We'll get our white and we will um, start the bottom half of our ear. start with your white and we're, we're gonna do four rows of the white and then we're so we'll have eight rows and then we're going to put these little things in so this should be row five one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think I'm going to let you guys get up your next three rows in here and come back once I have mine done just to save a little recording time. Okay, you should be done eight rows. You should have four red and four white. And now we're just going to add these little, um, I don't know, kind of drippy marks. Just thread your red. I have about an arm's length of red. And you're just going to come in. Where did I come in? Up above. Did I come up above a red or a white? So, up above here in one of these stitches. And then you're going to go down two stitches. So that's one stitch, that's two stitches. And you're going to come right back up in the same stitch you came through to begin with. And I'm going to do it twice. What did I do here? I went in the wrong way. That. Well, now I don't know what's going on here. Hopefully you're not struggling like I am and you've got it going. I got, yeah, I got so much things going on here. So go back in there and then come over, not up from this one, but up from the second one. And then you just do the same thing. Yeah, that one went a little more smoother. So twice around, about every two stitches, making sure you're starting up here and going down one. You can go further. I thought maybe like doing a short one and then a long one. That might look interesting. Oops, I just came up in the wrong spot. So just go over. Anyway, so that's all you do. 
keep going around like that. And then once you're done putting your, your little blood drips on, then you're going to continue in the white till you have 20 rows. And then I will meet you back um, when it's this size here, when we have all 20 rows, no matter what ear you're doing. Okay, you guys should have um, 20 rows finished. Um, if you're leaving your ear to stand up, you're just going to tie it off and put that to the side till it's time to attach it. Make sure you make two. And if you're going to make your ear flop down, if you're happy with this length, we're just going to close it up. If you want to do a few more stitches, go ahead. Keep it in mind that closing it up, we're going to add a couple extra rows. So you're just going to fold it in half. And if you watched me do the two colored one, it's going to be exactly the same. You're just going to single crochet all the way across. Making sure you get through both sides front and back. Oh, it's so squeaky. Oops. I almost skipped one side there. Alright, and once you get to the end, you're going to fold it in half, this way I guess. Make sure your yarn, yarn's on the back side of your hook. And go through the, the two end stitches of each of your front and sides of your ear and then just do about four stitches across into that row of single crochets you just made. And I'm going to put one more in. Okay, and then you can just tie that off and put these aside until you're ready to sew them on. Okay, so now we're going to sew little muzzle onto the face. So get your darning needle. And you'll need your pins. Oh yeah, I have this guy now that I'm going to use. So you're just going to... Um, I put a little tiny bit of stuffing in. And then um, we'll pin it in place. Whoops. And I'm going to put it, oh, that makes it on the top. I want to hide this part with my little pink nose. So I'm going to put it, well, I'm going to consider upside down. So I don't really want to have my knot up here, but maybe the nose will. So place it about where you figure. I got mine two or three stitches up from this, the smallest of the neck here. And then just start pinning it. Make sure you're nice and even along whatever line you've chosen. I'm going to put some in the center, maybe that'll help keep it where I want it. And it will kind of even out as you stitch around. I definitely don't have enough pins in here. It's 
feeling better. Feeling like it's not going to move too much. If you're doing the Chinese New Year one, I would be doing the, the little cheeks of the muzzle in the accent color and then the nose in the main color. Well, let's try that. So then you're just gonna start going in and around. Try and go under. I'll just get that fluff out of there. Try and go under your muzzle and not up here or you're gonna see the white of your stitch. your stuffing in whoops I just hit my light touch your stuffing in oh my gosh excuse me as you go and just kind of keep an eye out that it's not moving around on you like I see my pins are lifting but it's staying where I want it this is always the fun part huh I'd rather sew every single part over again and sew one piece on. I don't know why that is. It's not like it's hard. Oops, and see, I'm starting to get a little knot under, so I gotta try and move my mouth over a little bit here so that I won't see that white stitch. Okay, I'm gonna let you continue going around here and then we'll come back and put on the little nose. Okay, so I just thought if you, this is one of the first times you're making an amigurumi, um, you may not know how to tie off. So I'm just gonna take a second. So I went all the way around with my white and I ended here. And so I'm just gonna tie off, just grab a little, just one of these stitches somewhere, right close to where you're gonna go in. Actually, maybe I'll do that one. And you're just gonna tie a knot in there. And I always tie two, just to be certain that it's gonna be secure. And then you just pull it through the back. Find one of these stitches right close to where your knot is. So I'm gonna do this one. And then I'm gonna pull and that knot should slide in behind. And just pull it anywhere out the back. And then give it a good little tug. And you'll see how that knot disappears down well this one didn't but I usually it will but I am um, gonna be putting the nose over that anyway okay okay so for the nose you're just gonna position it over this mess here that you left and you're just gonna stitch it on however you feel you want to place it so it might be up high for you it might be kind of in the middle I'm gonna do mine just just kind of where it, I'm gonna try and catch a few of these stitches and then kind of pull it down this way when I'm done so thread your needle you can pin this if you want but it should be should be not too bad maybe I'm gonna go around Start that little mouth. So I'm going down in here. Whoops. <laughs> down in there. And then I'm going to come up in my first stitch. I want to go in right there. And that should give him a bit of an ice. I sewed this on a little funny, but I think once he's done, you're not going to really notice that too bad. I'll then just go in and out. 
like you did with the muzzle until you get all the way back around. Gonna be a little gentle with some of these stitches, it looks like. Just keep an eye on how was I doing? Just keep an eye on how um, your shape is for your nose here. A little heart would look cute on there too. I do have a video um, of doing little tiny hearts, three different sizes. The small one might be a little big. Oh, let's see, that's how that's working out. Okay, so I will let you guys finish off this. And we will come and do the next part. So now here's the reason why I don't put the eyes on up here and then stuff and then start adding my, my parts. So I've got the nose on here and it doesn't matter where the eyes go or where because this is always going to be my center. So if I had my ear, my eyes like say here, and then somehow when I got stitching, my muzzle moved over and my eyes ended up over here or like this. Now I have a center point to base everything else we're gonna put on here. So the eyes will go here, the arms will go here, the legs will go here, the ears will go here, and they'll all be centered around right here. So for the eyes, I've got this little, this is a good little starter pack if you're just getting started. Um, it's got all different sizes and colors of eyes and noses. Um, and we're going to be using the 14 millimeter today. So we'll get those out. And now you can kind of start making this your own design just by how you start placing everything. So you might want the eyes really close. You might want them far apart on the side. You decide where you want to put your eyes. I'm kind of going to leave them kind of right up on the side here from the, from the muzzle. Most important thing you want to make sure is you stay on the same line and then work them evenly. So I actually think that's not too bad unless I do a part one more. Almost seems like they're not quite, stitches aren't falling quite where I want them to, but, um, okay. So now we're gonna put the backs on the eyes, take the stuffing out, and then we'll close this up. And then our little face should be doing pretty good. Oh, I got that stuffed in there. Really good. Okay. That should be enough. It's actually surprising how much stuffing goes up in there. So, finally hit the post of your eye. Clear it from all this stuffing. And you're just going to take the back of your eye and click it down. Sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. So that one's on. Let's find your other post. If you have trouble, if you first started out and making and you're making the eyes, I tell you, these safety eyes, they were the best thing I ever invested in because it just I just feel like it's, it brings that little bit more of a cuteness to your project. I mean, unless you make the perfect eyes. I mean, there are some pretty cute guys out there with the crocheted eyes. But I just find this so much simpler and it's like one last step. 
Okay, so I just stuff this guy back up. Remember that you're going for that mushroom shape and put it out to the sides and not a circle. And we can stuff the body now. And we have our mouth and our eyes where we want them. Just remember, don't overstuff. You don't want to see your stitches coming through. If you do have a problem where you don't feel like you're putting a ton of stuffing in, but you're still seeing the, the stuffing through, I don't know if there's... This is okay, but... Um, go down to a smaller hook. It may just be the difference in... Uh, how you're crocheting with your tension and stuff and a smaller hook just might make it your project will be a little smaller but I mean it's better to be a little smaller than um, not be happy with your overall look and I don't think I have any other stuffing up here so I guess that's as good as he's going all right now if I remember correctly we left on 18 stitches all the way around. There's my stitch marker. So now we want to have 12. And we're going to do one single crochet and one decrease. Let's smooth this up a bit. All right. So, oh, for 12. So one and a decrease. Oh, look at that. I don't even have it that stuffed. And a decrease for two. And one. And that'll be three. And a decrease. There's four. And then five in the next stitch. And then seven is a decrease. And then eight. Oh, I keep catching my stuffing. It's always when I'm videoing that this happens. So now I gotta recount. So one, two, three, four, five, six, so seven. And then eight is a decrease. And nine. And 10 is a decrease. And 11. And 12 is a decrease. And then we're just going to do six decreases all the way around for a total of six. So one. Six. I was just thinking something here. So we're going to slip stitch this and tie off and then sew it closed. This purple I have had for a couple of years and it's just never really caught my eye. Anytime I go to do something I want purple. I'm like, hmm, not that purple. But it's actually, I'm actually quite happy I chose it for this guy because. I quite am thinking it's going to turn out nice. Now I'm wondering if I should have done white ears for him. Okay. Anyway. So it's just funny how you can get some some yarn you'll never use and never use. And then all of a sudden you're like, now why did I not use that before? Anyway. I, oops. Okay. So just thread your needle in and out. Um, he may have a better way of doing this. You can do your way. 
I'm not too concerned about how it looks because it's going to be on the bottom. But if it was on the top, you might want to like grab the front loops. So you don't have this little bump here. Oh, and I think it did get rid of this little... Look at how that, maybe you can't tell in the camera, but it's raised up on this side, and this side is pretty flat. So I guess there is some reasons not to go over your your um, tail if you don't have to worry about keeping it, if it's on the inside of your work. Maybe don't go over it all the time. See how that works for you. Always learning new stuff. I think it's funny when people ask if you're a beginner, or intermediate, or expert. Depending on what you're doing, there's always be a being a beginner. Like, you learn a new stitch, you're a beginner at that stitch. You've never done it before. You may have the general knowledge of the stitches used to make the stitch, but you're still learning. Okay. Now we are going to go on to the next part. All right, so just for the teeth, these I moved them all over two stitches um, to the left in the end. So I wanted these ones to be pointy, so I just kind of tied them in normal. Just barely pulled. And then these ones I gave quite a bit of a tug. And then I kind of squished them down so they'll be a little shorter. I don't know. Okay, so I decided... I wish we'd left a little bit of red tail on with our red, but take about an arm's length of red. And we're going to... So the back of this so that the tongue is sealed in there. Make sure you have your top and your bottom sorted out. Then you're just going to pinch this. I want you to do just a couple of... Um, don't go through the pink or you're going to see that. Just go through the red stitches. Oh, look at this. I went through the white up top. We're going to have to tie it so we can secure it somehow. But um, I'll just go back and forth there a little bit. It might be a little tricky to not get in the pink. If you need to look on the other side so you know for sure... You don't want to go too deep into the red. <laughs> Just a couple stitches is all you need. And then we'll use this red to tack it down to the to the body. It must be this thread is why I can't see because it's super bright when I see it in with my eyes. What was that noise? No, coming off the roof, maybe. So, I guess that's okay. So, this part will be a little tricky, making sure you get it straight and not upside down. But just, even if you only get it through like two or three times, I'm just going to go through like this and then. Up. Oh, I hope I'm getting this straight. Make sure, actually, if you go straight across into there and go straight across into one of these rows, you should be, should stay straight. You can twist it a bit when you pin it and then just go back down. Make sure you're in the same row. and through again and then when I come back down I'm going to tie it and then we'll pin the um, 
I'll pin the uh, mouth on how you want it. I, I grab that? I think so. So I'll just give it a knot somewhere underneath where you won't be seeing it. Sorry I don't seem more professional doing this. I just enjoy crocheting and I have started enjoying making my own patterns. So I thought why not share? And maybe one day I'll have a market. But I don't know. I never really feel like going to a market. Although I'm sure they're super fun. I just got to go to one and get it down and figure it out. It's just that unknown, right? Because I can guarantee everybody there will be wonderful people. <sighs> Did I put it the right way, guys? I think so. <laughs> okay. So, get your pins. Um, I'm going to assume you guys all know how to sew these on. And if you don't, um, you'll have maybe seen the video of the um, purple one I'd, ahead of this. Oh, I guess I can say it's a bunny because this is the bunny video. Um, I'm not even sure. Just pin it where you want it. I don't know if it should be square or round. So this is totally up to you guys how you want to put it. I believe it's starting to go ovally, so I guess as long as it stays ovally. I don't actually have a picture to look at. Just a dirty, messy bunny from a movie. Like a real bunny. So it obviously didn't look like this, but it was pretty gross. Just check it once in a while. I can't. I think the most important part would be getting this um, even around. So if you want a square mouth, it's square. If you want a rectangle, it's if it's oval circle. It's kind of because these are gonna probably pull out a bit and move around yet. You know what it reminds me of? Those little green guys from Super Mario. Those little plants that want to eat ya. And come up out of the tubes. If he was green, you definitely... Well, you could go backwards and do a green one. And you have a little Super Mario dude. I don't really know what they're called. Vines? I don't think so. so I'm sure they got a better name than that. Alrighty, I'll do two or three stitches and then I will do this on my own and you guys can pause the video and we'll come back and put the eyes on. It'll help if I had you in the video. This is going to be like... What is happening? Like I have all the lights how they've always been. If I put it right in front of me, but then I have a light and a... Actually, that looks good. Now I have a light and a camera that my arms are wrapped around. I can definitely do this part. I'm going to hit the, all everything. <laughs> I really should put a photo in of what this looks like when I'm doing it. Because... <laughs> looks ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to just take this off. First. You guys got to see how I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm sitting right here. <laughs> and my camera is right. I think I can get around all these lights. <laughs> so that's one thing I should say while I'm doing this. If you guys watch a video and you 
make it and you really like it, especially if you go back and make more, make sure you like and subscribe to their videos because this actually is not easy. It looks so easy. Get your camera and just, you know, do something you enjoy, but like, I mean, it takes me a whole day just to load everything onto the computer. Then it takes another day to, I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself probably from other videos, but it takes three to four days just to do the computer part. Like it takes longer than to, to make all three of these that I made. I think I made all three of these just out of the top of my head in two days which is including like the sewing to together today but I won't have this uploaded for probably a week because it takes so long for everything else to sort it out anyway so show them that you appreciate the work that they they've done so you can do the do their patterns Okay, sorry, there's my shout out for the <laughs> day. Okay, I'll come back when we have these all sewn on. I haven't even been paying attention if this is straight or not, but it looks like it is. Um, see you in a few minutes. So I forgot to press record and I got the eyeballs in. So all I did was I unstuffed the head and then I put the eyeballs just a little bit above the mouth and over a bit just in case I don't know where this mouth is going to end up and I didn't want his eyes to be covered up you know because it's you can you can make it like this or you can make it like that so I just thought leave some space and then I took the stuffing out clicked the eyeballs in and now I'm just restuffing it and if you didn't know this is a little set of eyes I've been using um, the 14 millimeter are the ones that I put in today. So we'll get his little body stuffed. Make sure when you're stuffing him, when you're doing the head, that you're leaving this in kind of a, like a mushroom shape and not trying to make it a circle. Or these stitches will be open and the stuffing will be showing right through. This is actually a showing through a little bit but it's thinner thread than it's the same brown but for some reason the white is really thin all the time compared to most of the other colors I'm not sure why how much stuffing you want I think a little bit more probably could have more in his head I think but Surprising how much stuffing you can fit into these guys. I just need a little bit of stability to add the ears up here. So that should be good. Um, so we'll just close them up. And we left off on 18 stitches way back when we started this. Make sure, here's a little trick I learned somewhere. I don't know where it was. But in order to know where to put your hook, if your your um, thread gets all twisted, you just pull like this and make sure it's all along the top. So if it's like this, okay, that's wrong. I don't know if it makes a difference when you get started, but it would be exactly as you left off anyways. Okay, so... We're going to do one single crochet and one decrease for a total of 12. So one. Two. Three. And four. Decrease. Two is a decrease. Five. Six is a decrease. Seven, eight is a decrease, nine, 
9, 10 is a decrease, I can't see through this light, 11, and 12 is a D, whoop, There's a strange thing going on there, 12 is a decrease, um, and then the next row is just going to be six uh, decreases. Oh, that's what was going on. I got my thread stuck in the stuffing. Okay, so for our last round, one decrease. Two decrease, three decrease, four decrease, five decrease, and six decreases. And then just give it a slip stitch. Whoop. This might not work with this light here. Can't reach what I need to reach. And then pull through. And then we'll just thread that around. Oh, I did have extra stuffing here. So I'm going to just add some extra stuffing. You guys just weave in and out here, tie it off, and then pull through. And then I'll come back with the next part after I add up some stuffing in there. Okay, so let's put the arms on now. So what you're going to want to do is kind of line them up where you figure you want them. So mine are just kind of just a little hair behind where we have the eyes. And I'm going to pin them there. And we're going to be sewing them right in this crease. Um, the pins might not do much good once we get going, but we'll see what happens. And I got my string to the back because when I get up here, I want to kind of give it a pull so that it can kind of tip a little bit instead of sometimes you'll have like a little loose side and I want that in the back. Okay, let's get our yarn threaded on our needle. And I'm only going to put about three or four stitches in. You put in as many as you want. So I'm going to grab this back stitch here and I'm going to come up and through one of our um, single crochets we did at the top of the arm. The first one in the row. And this will kind of hide the knot in the back and hopefully keep that nice and tight. And then I'm just going to go through the next single crochet we'd made and grab Let's see if you can see this. Just grab the next stitch in line there. I think, yep. Next stitch in line is right there. Oopsie. And then we're going to come back up from this side, or however you want to sew it on, up to you. This is how I seem to be doing it on all my other ones. Look at this. Look at this disaster. <laughs> the joys of sewing the parts together. See, pinning it was pointless. And then I'm just going to come back. So I came in that. I came in that one. So I'm going to have to go down in here somewhere and just catch just in front of the arm there. Okay. 
And then we'll just, you can, I'm going to go back through one more time and then go underneath to make my knot. Get that useless pin out of there. And I'm just going to put a knot in one of my loops and give it a tie. I'm only going to tie this one once because I am going to, I'm going to go in and I'm going to retie it back here. Okay. So now we got to line these back up again. Remember if you did the first one with the string in the back, do the second one with the string in the back. Line it up about where you want it. Whoops. Ooh, I just snagged my tablecloth. Put my pin back in. And then same as the other one. Just catch a stitch. I'm going to do mine upside down here. Catch a stitch. And then come up through one of your single crochets. Not quite in it. Can you see that? I got my light on the wrong side of me, but there's a wall on the other side, so I can't really do much about that. Go down and through, pick up a stitch. And then go, let's get rid of this pin now. Back up and through your next stitch. Still looking pretty even. And then go down. And however, I'm going back through. I don't think I did the same thing on that side, but. And then just go down through again to get to the underside. So all you can see is my hands. Sorry about that. And they look like they're pretty even. And you're just going to tie your knot down here again. So now, come through. go in front and out the back. Try and get in the center. You might be over one or two, one stitch or so, but do the best you can. And get your other string from your other arm. Do the same thing. Just put your needle in the front of the arm and back out the back in the same stitch you took the other arm through. Give them a little bit of a tug and then just knot them up. And I'm going to do three, I think. Just careful not to cinch it too tight. Watch what it's doing on the other side. You don't want them really so tight that they're coming like straight forward. I don't know if that's possible, but. And then you are just going to take your ends and put them out through the back bottom somewhere. So put your needle in that same stitch you just, all your threads came out of, and then just out the bottom. And, okay, see how you can kind of see that little knot? Just give it a little bit of a tug and it'll break three free and no one will know what you just did to tie that up okay so now I think we will come back and do the legs Okay, for the legs, you're going to want your pins out again. 
and you're gonna want the string on the bottom and you're just gonna kind of place them it's hard to see a couple stitches apart and evenly between the, the nose um, you're gonna want to make sure that you do it while he's sitting just so you can make sure that you don't um, put it if you want him to sit I mean you could do them like this to he's pr oh, actually that's kind of cute I actually kind of like that better than sitting but I'm doing all mine sitting so we'll make him sit just because he probably won't stand on his own okay so once you've decided where you want them and for me I think it's kind of between the nose and the arms I'll know once I get them pinned so just pin all the way around again like you already did with the muzzle I think he's a little high but I will check him once I get going here with the other leg on so string on the bottom to keep them even line them up with the row you just pin that guy on and kind of between the nose and the arms right now it's looking like there's two two and a half stitches between them but depending on how you crochet different or the same from me they might yours might look a little bit different wherever you're happy with the legs that's where you're gonna put them but before you sew them on just kind of test them out a bit before and after just so that you know you're going to be happy with them after if you have to move them now it's a lot better than having to move them or undoing it or not being happy with your guy so i think i am happy with that so look from the bottom so i'm going to let you guys sew those on on your own and i what am I gonna do next um I'm saving the horns for later because I'm doing this as a base for all the different ones and this guy might end up with ears that are like a cat or who knows no horns so if you hear me talking about horns or some other part that doesn't belong on the guy that you are doing right now don't worry it's just this is my very first one so I keep forgetting that I'm going to be making tons of different animals with this same base and then just like the characters mostly in the head characteristics in the head are going to be changing um okay I'm gonna go let you guys sew those legs on I'll sew my own legs on and then I think I'm gonna probably do the horns which will be the ears if you're not on the goat or the ox video okay so sew these this ear on you're gonna thread your needle and you're gonna fold it in half and you're just gonna put a couple of stitches right about here just to secure it so it's not trying to open as you're trying to sew it on just basically two or three times to get you into the back of the oh my god the snow keeps falling off my roof and I keep thinking something's happening okay and for placement if you notice this will be where you made your first single six single crochets and then you increase to 12 so this is row one this is row two and then I'm going to be going in between rows three and four with um, the ear on top and then coming back around through just to kind of give it a little more stability so it's I think I need to do one more stitch in here to hide this oh I'm on the wrong side I'll do that when I sew it in so you place it just over from the second row kind of even with the arms 
or wherever you want your ears. Maybe you want them more forward or back. Just make sure they're even. And we'll put a few pins in here. Oops. I keep forgetting I have this little guy here. I have a cactus that I made that I always use. So I just started using this guy. But I don't know why. But he's kind of fun. Um, if I get around to it, I haven't made him on camera yet. But maybe I'll put a little link at the end of this. And I'll make a video to make this guy. He's pretty cute. I don't know if I'm going to add antennas though. Because those are a pain. But... Okay, that's good enough. So you're just going to go through the ear, up on the higher side, so it kind of pulls it over. And down on the lower side. So if you see, it's a bit of an angle. But you don't want to see the, the thread on this side. Then you come up into your, oh, see I moved that as I was pinning, your third and your fourth stitch. I really moved that, there we go. Okay. And you'll just keep going around like that until you feel he's secure enough to hold that ear up. All the while making sure that they're staying even. You don't want it to come any more forward than the other ear. When you're doing the first one, it's a little easier because you don't have to worry exactly where it's sitting. One, two, so under three and four there. If you move it, move your, if you end up not going in the third and the fourth all the time, that's fine as long as it's not, um, when you're not seeing your, your sewing thread. Okay, so basically, and you'll do the, um, you'll do this guy exactly the same way. I'm going to finish this up on my own. You guys sew your ear on if you're doing this one. If you're doing the purple bun bunny with the floppy ear, I'll be back to do that one in a half sec. So just as a little side note, I wasn't super happy with the placement of my ears. I didn't, I felt like something didn't look right. So I'm just going to pinch them together and put a couple of stitches in there. So they, they look more like they're coming from the center instead of the sides of his head. And you could also go up and pass your stitches back and forth, either through both or through one. It's hard to show this with my hand in the way. Um, just if you're having the same problem as me with your ears. Because I'm trying to figure, does he look like a big floppy dog or does he look like a bunny? <laughs> okay, for your little floppy-eared bunny, you're just going to thread your needle. Oops. That's a mess. Okay. So I keep hitting my camera. I'm going to sit this down a bit. So you're just going to do like on the other bunny. There's your um, six single crochet row, your first row. Here's your second row. And you're going to sew on this third row. And I'm not even going to pin it because this should be pretty simple. Just go down and under and across that third row. Just like when you did the arms, only you're making sure you're staying on this, this third row here. If you didn't pin it like me, just make sure it doesn't crawl up on you and it stays even with this one if you're doing your second ear. So you're just going through that chain stitch you made and around this third row. So this is a pretty easy sew, this one. I got all that stuffing. Come on, there you are. Now, I can't remember if I went back or if I tied it from here, but I think I went twice. So 
I'm just going to work my way to the back here. Just so I can put my knot back there instead of... Sorry, I keep hitting my camera. Yeah, and then just tie it off. Pull it through here. Tie this and then pull that down and cut it. And you are almost done your little bun bun. Um, a couple things left to do. So I'm going to come back to the next part. Oh, they're starting to look pretty cute, aren't they? Okay, so let's try our hands at a little pom-pom tail. I'm no way an expert at making a pom-pom. My experience in pom-poms probably goes back to when you probably tried making them in elementary school. So I'm going to use two colors for um, the year of the rabbit guy. Uh, I just used plain white for this guy. And I, for this one, I wrapped a couple times with white, then once or twice with red and then both and then more white and then both and then more and then both so i'm just gonna wrap i don't know i just wrap till i get almost more than i can handle on my hand just wrap 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 oh that's that's gonna cause a seizure on camera i don't know how to do it without moving my hand i did make the tails a little bigger than they probably needed to be but if you want your tail smaller, just trim it or make your little pom-pom however you um, are. You, if you're used to making pom-poms, I'm making mine a little tight here. But that should be lots. The smaller you trim it down to, the thicker it will be. So like when I, you see me do this at first, yeah, I made that way too tight. Keep your, um, yikes, don't let that fall apart because you're going to want to do your center. So get it in the center and you're going to tie a knot around that. I've seen people do with these with forks or, um, you could do a, a toilet paper roll holder. Make sure you keep that, let's tip this down. Make sure you keep this nice and tight when you're tying your knots. Cause that is what's gonna hold your pom-pom together. It all depends on this one knot you're about to make. And I know we need three fingers or three hands for this. So if you feel it's not tight enough, Wrap one of your strings around once or twice, nice and tight, and then retie your knot. And that should, if I, where's my other string? I better come back where I was. Keep that tight, and that should hold tighter for your second knot. You can also wrap this twice to make a more secure knot. Pull it tight, and that should hold a little better when you go to make your next knot. And I brought a little bag up here to catch all my threads. So, get that out. Ooh, isn't that pretty? <laughs> all right. So now you're just going to cut hold on to these you do not want to cut these so hold on to these and you're just going to go all the way around and cut these now you'll probably miss some you can go back and cut them after just go all the way around trying to keep in the center and there's one there's a couple i missed there one I missed. There's one I missed. Most 
of those you're gonna cut when you trim anyway, but if they're obvious, just give them a little cut. They will eventually all find their way. So now you're gonna hold on to this nice and tight. I'm, I'm just gonna thread it through my fingers like that so it's out of my way. And you're gonna flatten this pom-pom and just cut it in. You can get a template, a lid of some kind. I'm just gonna measure, assuming about an inch around. You're still gonna cut it again a different way. So just turn it around. Keep it trying to get it all nice and even around the edge. And you will miss some, but you can get them later. See, I missed this whole chunk here. Oh, I'm holding it right so you can see that I am actually kind of cutting straight. So now, hold on to your strings again, nice and tight, and then you're going to squish it down the opposite way. And just do the same thing. About an inch from the center. Just keep in mind, this is to be round, not square, so you don't want to... You want to kind of kind of bend your scissors around as you're cutting. And that's pretty close. So now I just give it a bit of a shake. And you'll see the obvious little stragglers. Hold on to your string still. And now just kind of go around and eyeball. I mean, this isn't going to be the best pom-pom. And because this is going to be against the back of the bunny, I'm not concerned how whoop, I'm not concerned how fluffy it is back here because I'm going to pull that tight against the back of the bunny's bum. So just keep trimming. I should have made two of these so I could have went on to the... don't really want to trim it after it's on because I don't want all these fibers stuck on them. And see how the shorter I go, it's kind of getting thicker. I'm going to brush this one out, I think. Although I kind of like it like this. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. It's funny. I've... I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm making these too fast because... I'm not putting enough time into the cuteness factor. I'm just trying to get them done. So I have, you know, I don't know how many there are. It's like 12. It's quite a few different animals. Okay. That's good enough for me for now. Especially if I'm going to be brushing it out. So let's clear this mess. And it's super easy to attach to the little bunny. All you're gonna do now you don't want to get it too low like I have this guy pretty high look, look how high up I put him where did I even attach him he's attached way way up in there and then this guy is a little lower but you don't want to so I've attached him right here so it's about four or five stitches up from where he sits. You don't want to put it right on the bottom because then that'll be in the way of um, him sitting. Like you don't want him to be sitting like this. And it is also another way you can kind of, if you put your legs in the wrong spot so he tips forward, you can kind of use your tail now to um, fix that. Okay, so back to, this is the easy part. So I'm probably going to put his, his tail right in here somewhere. So just thread your needle. Yeah. And then I'm just going to go in the center and then down a stitch with the one string. And then I'm going to take the other string. I'm going to go one stitch over. And then down out oh, where I just took that stitch out. 
So they're both coming out of the same stitch. And then when you tie it, remember to give it a good tug because right now there's actually, oh, one or two centimeters of string there that you can still pull down and tug. All right, so give it a good tug. I got it, I think I got it. Try not to get your little pom-pom hairs in it. I really don't want to brush this one out. I might not. Okay, and then just thread your ends down in here and you'll have your, your little bun buns. Well, you should have one or of all three of these guys done. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you like, subscribe, comment, that would be really appreciated. Um, let me know if you enjoyed following these videos. If I should do more, maybe which one I should do next. Um, thank you and happy crocheting.